Working together, we will begin the urgent task of rebuilding our nation and renewing the American dream. Well, it's going to be a lot easier for Donald Trump to reconcile with Congress, given that we now have unified Republican government. So members of Congress in both the House and the Senate have an incentive to work with Trump, and he has an incentive to work with them if their real goal is to turn back everything that Obama accomplished and really try to hit his legacy. The corrupt politicians and their special interests have ruled over this country for a very long time. Today is our Independence Day. It's hard to figure out how you end corruption in government. I would be surprised if we didn't see the beginnings of a lot of investigations in the first hundred days. But there are certain things that Donald Trump can do even without Congress. And slashing the EPA, for example, changing regulations that would basically repeal or take away large components of Obamacare are things that we know he has congressional support for. And then, of course, the Supreme Court. Donald Trump has already indicated the kinds of people he will appoint. Merrick Garland will now never be confirmed, and we will see a Supreme Court appointment and confirmation, I would expect, quite soon. Together, we're going to deliver real change that once again puts America first. That begins with immediately repealing and replacing the disaster known as Obamacare. Donald Trump kept talking about repealing and replacing, although exactly what the replacing meant was very vague. So until we know a little bit more about those specifics, it's hard to determine whether these are things that will happen in the first hundred days or whether it's even feasible for them to happen in the first hundred days. We have some bad, bad people in this country that have to go out. We're going to get them out. We're going to secure the border. There's now general support for some kind of major immigration reform that ensures that there's no path to citizenship or amnesty. How quickly that's able to pass Congress is going to be tricky. The other thing to keep in mind is that the Republicans don't have a filibuster-proof Senate. So there are some checks on Republican control. It's just going to be difficult for them. A Trump administration will suspend the Syrian refugee program and keep radical Islamic terrorists the hell out of our country. Foreign policy remains one area where Donald Trump actually has quite a bit of leeway. Presidents do. And he has said things over the course of the campaign like he will wipe out ISIS or he will deal with the Syrian refugees and he will resolve these crises. But when it comes to specificity, we really don't know what he plans to do. So now is where the rubber hits the road. Well, if everything that we've seen over the course of the last few months is an indicator, and if we take Trump at his word, then we have people like Rudy Giuliani as the Attorney General. We have people like Newt Gingrich as Secretary of State. But when it comes to Trump's cabinet appointment, it's going to look a lot like the 1990s.